is said that royal favourite Sir Elton John has finally hung up well his microphone and closed the piano lid for good after, some say, a spectacular show recently at the Glastonbury Festival. You know the one, everybody was talking about it the day after, the one where he didn't invite Kiki D and the one where Britney Spears feared never to show, even though all of these things were hinted. And I'm not being snidey when I say that, you know, it was a strange thing, in fact, because, you know, there were lots of illusions about great guest stars. And then what happened, in fairness, he wanted to give unknowns, you know, partially unknowns, apart from Brandon Flowers, the opportunity to appear on a wonderful, you know, huge stage for the worldwide audience. Two-sided coin. Lots of people, though, wanted the old favourites. Now, Sir Elton, apparently, is so much of a royal favourite that even on the eve of that concert, the guards out at Buckingham Palace played a selection of Elton John songs, including Crocodile Rock. That's how much, apparently, as I say, he's liked. But over here in the United Kingdom, a lot of people were very disappointed with Sir Elton on said night. And as I say, this wasn't about the non-inclusion of many of the people that he'd worked with, even like the pop groups like Blue, as I say, Kiki D, others that he's teamed up with. There was a little bit of not too much about anybody else and a lot, of course, about Sir Elton. After all, he didn't get where he was by being a shrinking violet, as I'm sure he'll agree. But there was one person that he truly left out that a lot of people were very, very upset by. You see, when Elton was starting out, pivotal to his success was none other than his co-writer, Bernie Taupin. And throughout that set at Glastonbury, there was simply no mention of him. Now, as one can imagine, this would have been upsetting, not just for Mr. Taupin's family, but lots of his many fans. You know, as I've often said here on the show, when you look at the big people who've made it big and they've collaborated with people at the start of their careers, they really owe that person a nod and, you know, a basic, yes, I couldn't have done it without you. Now, when you think about the colossal success that Sir Elton enjoyed at the very start of his career with big hits like Daniel, Crocodile Rock, Island Girl, remember all of those? Well, they were all co-writes, of course, with the brilliant lyricist Bernie Taupin. So why didn't Sir Elton acknowledge him on the stage? Well, of course, we put a call in and people ignore that. But what we really found out was that they really just apparently wanted to celebrate the talent, the very last alleged performance of Sir Elton John to a worldwide audience. And they really just wanted to focus on that particular era. 53 years at the top of his game. Very nice, very noble. But as I said before, it takes not just one person but perhaps a lot of people behind you before you literally make it to the top. And isn't it a shame that Bernie seemed to have been given the bolt at the very pinnacle, the very final moment that Sir Elton was with a worldwide audience? Wouldn't it have been very gracious and nice if he'd have thanked that particular individual to all of those people? However, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.